Hello all, welcome to Snowflake Date Functions session. In this session, I will show you various date functions that are available in Snowflake with an example. Um, in Snowflake, we have various uh, date functions based on their usage. Those are uh, subcategorized into various uh, different groups. Uh, uh, in this section, I will only concentrate on the construction related date functions. These construction related date functions are used to construct a date when you have the um, date parts are available. For example, you have the year, month, and day separately, and you need to construct uh, the date by using those uh, parts, then we will use the, these uh, functions. So we are constructing the date from various parts of the date. Let me show an example for this. So I'm in the snowflake now, I've opened the session. So let's see the syntax first for the date from parts. Okay, so this requires year, month, and day uh, to construct a date. Let me show an example for that. Let me pause all these three parts for the day. Okay. So I gave 2021 as year and Feb is month and 20 is the day. Let me see how the date will construct with this. You can see the date has been constructed by using the date from bots. To visualize this more, what I'll do is I'll do the little exercise here. So first, I will generate 10 numbers and I will construct the date parts by using the generated numbers. And I'll show you um, how uh, the dates can be constructed by using them. So in order to do that, what I'll do is, I will create a window, I'll, I'll use the window functions to generate the numbers. So let me use the row number function for that. Over, I'll do order by. And I'll give the alias name to that as sequence. I'm generating the sequence for my purpose from table. Use the generator function here. Since I need to generate 10 numbers, I'm giving the 10 as a row count here. And let me run this and see how this generate the numbers. Okay, you can see it generated one, two, three, four, five till 10 numbers. And I have given the last name as a sequence chain for this. So by using this one, what I'll do is I'll create the various, or I derive the various date parts by using this sequence chain. In Snowflake, you can use the alias name in the same select statement. In other databases, maybe we need to go for the subquery in order to use the label in the uh, calculations, but Snowflake will allow us to use the same label within the same select statement. So what I'll do is, I first let me put here as 2020 constant here, and then I'll label it as a year. And then the month, what I'll do is, I'll use the sequence generator, and then label it as month and day also use the same sequence in later but now i'll add some constant value to it let me put something like 10 great and make it as a day so i have all the three parts that i need to use this function so let me query this and see how those will come you can see here one to ten and here, here is constant and month one to 10. And the day, since I added 10, you can see 
11 to 20. Now, let me use the date pod function here and construct by using this label. Okay, and the beauty of the snowflake is you can use the same labels here to construct in the same query using it. And then day I'm keeping here. So now let's query this and see what happens. If you see here, you can see, let me put the alias name for this as well as date construct. Okay, let me query it again one more time. Let's see here, you can have the dates here. Okay, and now the next function is time from parts. Again, let me see what is the syntax for this. Okay, so this requires hour, minutes, minute, and second, so that it will create that time component of it. You can give the nanoseconds as well. So that's an optional. So let me construct the time pod by passing the values to it. Let me query this. You can see the time component has been um, has been constructed. Okay, so let me try to integrate this one. Before that, I'll try to format this query so that it will be easy for us. Okay, so this is the sequence window function for sequence and return. and then i have everything and here i put the time from parts and here let me use the uh, sequence generator as an hour and then instead of that let me do build the time components also so sequence generator i can make it as a hour then okay so i'm just adding 20 to it i'm giving the alias name and seconds i'll add let me put 10. Okay. i'll use these labels in this construction So I'm not using the nanoseconds if you want, you can use them as well. Okay. As Come on, it's missing here. You can see here, one hour, 21 minutes, 11 seconds. Okay. Okay. This makes sense, right? So 
So timestamp, if you want to generate the timestamp also here, you will, here we individually construct a date and time, and then you can construct the timestamp also by using it. So let me see that timestamp. So the timestamp, if you see the syntax here, timestamp from parts, year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, everything is available for us. If we can incorporate those things, we'll get that one. Even we can add the time zone also for it. So nanoseconds and time zone is an option, optional. Um, so either we can use it or not, since we have the required information with us. So let me put that information. So before that, I'll make a syntax also so that available so that we know what needs to be added. Year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds. Let's take year, month. So year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds. I didn't add the nanoseconds and then time zone as well. Let me call you this and see. So I didn't put the same code. Yeah, I commented it. That could be the reason. Okay. So here you can see the time component of it. Okay. So based on these things, you also can build the timestamp by using, see here, you already constructed date and time. So by using the date and time also, you can construct the timestamp um, part. Let me show you that part as well. So since I already constructed, I can directly use that as well here. And uh, We'll give the as two for this alias name. Okay. So same thing only, but in a different way you can do that because see either you can pass all the uh, parts and construct the time date time construct. Uh, if you have the date and time con construct, you can do that. Okay. So other than that. So this one, in the month, it could be more than even, see in general month will be between one to 12, uh, but it will accept even um, out, uh, out of the range as well, month and day. You can try and see how these things works. Even the date from parts will even take the negative values and it will generate the date uh, to the, previous year based on the negative values that you have given. Accordingly, it will construct that one. Let me show you one example. Select. I'm going to show you how 
date bot will work. So let me give 2021 January 1st as normal. Okay, it is. Okay, so now I will give zero to the day what will happen i'll show you so i didn't change anything i just kept the zero so then what is your expectation what it will come so basically what it will do is one day prior to the first john it will give actually so let me show you that if you see here it has given 2020 december 31st okay suppose for example if I give minus one here, so that means what it should come. Any guess? Yes, so it will give one day prayer to this one. So let me show you that part also. You can see, right? So, for example, so like that, you can try for everything. Let me give you one more example with the month. Suppose if I give here also zero, okay? So one month prayer to that, and this will give one day prayer to that month. So it should come number end actually. Okay, so number and the previous year it will come. So like that, you can try for the various options, how these uh, parts will work. At the same time, this timestamp from uh, parts also will take the time zones. And this is having the va different variations where you can give the time zone also within the function. So there are different functions are available. Uh, to use to specific to the time zone so you can explore those things as well thank you so much appreciate it for joining this class